I'm Michael Scroggins. I'm one of the original members of the Single Wing Turquoise Bird Light Show. The Single Wing Turquoise Bird was a multimedia light show. It consisted of overhead projectors doing liquids and dry materials and film projectors. The Single Wing Turquoise Bird was formed to do light shows to Shrine Auditorium for pinnacle dance concerts. The musical groups that we were performing with were Cream, The Velvet Underground, Jefferson Airplane, The Grateful Dead, Fleetwood Mac, The Yardbirds, The Jeff Beck Group, Albert King, B.B. King, the United States of America. All the people who were sort of touring the West Coast to do concerts came through the Pinnacle Concert Series. I was enthralled. I was enthralled just to do liquids by themselves. I could do a plate by myself and be very happy. But when we were working ensemble together, there was this energy of jamming and seeing things none of us expected. Every time it happened, it was amazing. I met Pat O'Neill at the shrine when he and Beverly O'Neill came bringing cans of film and they would come up on the scaffolding and drop off the films and then just enjoy the concert. My film 7362 was made at about that time and it used input from various sources one of which was oil wells that were in Venice, and they were out in public where anyone could get close to it and watch a number of these if you had lots of time. I'd have been in college by then. I was in Donald Chipperfield's photography class, which was an eye-opener for me, and got me interested in photographic image, and I started looking at the medium a little more clearly. When I got my Bolex, I took it down there and recorded the and it was doing this cadence of gradually moving the arm up and down, up and down, very slowly, sort of hypnotic. When I first saw 7362, I was completely enraptured with this iconography. And it had a very luminous quality for me. I loved the, the bilateral symmetry sections. I loved the way that the oil pumps were working. There's the kind of mechanical motion that had a very kinetic visual quality that appealed to me. There were a couple of things about 7362 that were important to me. One of it was the high contrast. So for light shows, when you're projecting with 12 projectors at once, you want to fill in the dark areas with color and you have to have a contrast range, otherwise everything washes out. So 7362 lent itself to that because of the large expanses of black. The angularity of many of the forms were a perfect combination for the fluid organic flowing forms that I was working with.